Yeah. <clears throat> Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, uh, my able students. Uh, today, um, I'll be taking your computer studies. But before that, as you all know, my name remains Mr. Adeinka Biodun Udufemi. And I'll be taking uh, computer studies for grade four, which is um, lesson one. And the topic we have for today, uh, as the lesson one topic, uh, is setting up a computer. Setting up a computer. Uh, well, before we go further, let's quickly look at um, some areas first before we discuss in details. There are various parts of the computer that are connected together to make up a complete computer system. You know, uh, talking about these various parts, uh, we can actually relate it to a human body. That is, in digressing outside um, the topic. Okay, let me just cite that example. You know, in human, um, we are taught or we, are, we know quite fine that in the human body we have parts like the hand, which is part of the body, our head, our neck, our mouth, our stomach, the legs and all that. You know, if any of this part has any issue, you know, definitely uh, there's a name we actually call such person. Anybody that has um, there's something happened to probably maybe one of the legs is cut or, uh, cut off or the hand, you know. So the same thing is applicable to a computer system. If the computer system does not have a complete part, then it's it will not be able to function as uh, a system. That is why system is added to it because it's what makes it one. Okay. So these various parts are uh, are what are that what that are put together. Okay, to make it a complete computer system. Then the individual hardware components of a computer system cannot be used to perform any task. I hope you get that correctly. Each part out of this um, computer parts, each of them cannot be used on stand alone. Okay, they all needed to be put together. Uh, in other words, to be connected together to make a complete computer system. Then let's now quickly look at these parts, parts of the computer. One, we have the monitor, okay, which is what we have here. You can see, this is what we call the monitor. Actually, it looks like a television that we watch in our houses, okay. This is computer monitor, all right. Then the second on the list is the system unit. Uh, which is also part of the basic parts of the computer system, which is what we have here. This is uh, the system unit. And also on the list, we have what is called the keyboard, computer keyboard. Okay, we have to have computer keyboard because there are some other um, machines that are also called keyboard, such as the piano keyboard that they use in uh, the music industry. You understand? So this one in particular is computer keyboard then also we have another thing on the list which is the computer mouse which is what i'm holding here it is called mouse just like uh the mouse in our various houses which are animals the animal called mouse although it is called rat as well if you look at it very well it looks like that same rat that uh, we have that are in some houses okay or in the bush quite fine okay why is because you can see this is the body and this is the tail uh, this tail makes it look like the animal in the bush, but this is a device, okay, that is used to issue command to the computer system. Then, on the board again, we have what is called speaker that gives sound, okay, that produces sound from the computer system, okay. Then, we also have computer cables. Well, these computer cables, we have them here, uh, we have different types of it, okay, this is computers, uh, computer cables. Okay, and this cable are uh, what is what are used. Uh, these cables are used uh, to connect these various parts together before they can be able to function as a system. Okay, you cannot just put these things together and call them a system until they are connected when they become one. Okay, so and before you can be able to put them together, you need all these cables in order to put them together, connect them together, and make them. A complete computer system. So the above listed parts are the parts needed 
to set up a computer system. If you are setting up a computer system, these are what you need. Okay? And if all these things are not available, definitely there is nothing to be called a computer system. Well, uh, this is where I will round up the lesson for today. But before I call it a day, I would like you to, on your own, you practice this. This is your homework, or you call it home activity. Okay? List all the parts needed to set up a computer system. Thank you. Stay safe and be good for your parents and for the country. Thank you.